promised by Amero, which is building a $1.6 billion undersea transmission cable. Two of them, in fact, to bring Muskrat Falls power to Nova Scotia. Rick Janega says hundreds are now working and the workforce could double at peak. 300 people working directly on the maritime link between our project team and over 100 contractors that have been involved to date. That will peak at about 600, depending on uh, the actual loading of uh, work by the contractors. Well, Janega says the Maritime Link project is on time and on budget. The 170-kilometer cable will be carrying electricity by October of 2017. And right now, they're cutting trees and building DC conversion centers along that line. Well, an announcement is expected tomorrow for Voises Bay. The Natural Resources Minister has a news conference scheduled in the morning, along with Stuart McNaughton, Vice President of Valley's Newfoundland and Labrador Operations. The announcement involves Voises Bay, the development agreement. Valley has been working on plans for an expansion at the open pit mine to take it underground, nearly doubling the workforce of 450 people. The mine currently produces about 6,000 tons of nickel concentrate each day.